Hi everybody and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you decide if it's going to change from a want to a need. Now if you enjoy or you've been looking for a channel that focuses on learning about the brands, the products, and of course the deals, with some spoilers and sneak peeks on subscription boxes too, then I hope you will subscribe. It is free and it is easy. Simply press that black subscribe button that you see underneath this video. It will turn white and you are in. Now press that bell for a new video notification and don't forget to hit that thumbs up which will help the video to grow. I always look forward to seeing you in the comments which I do my best to respond to all. But for more information and instant updates, follow my Instagram. My name there is True Wants with the number two. The link is in the description box right underneath this video because as you know, if I know something, I want you to know it too. And now we will be in the know together. Now I appreciate when you watch in full because then you are part of this True Wants community. And if you would like to contribute some dollars to the channel, there's always the thanks button that's found underneath this video as well. Now let's get started with today's video because we do film live here with no edits. I prepare and do as much research as I can ahead of time so that we can go through everything together. Now this is the mystery bags that I told you about when we did the opening of my PR package in the beginning of uh, March. When we saw it within the newspaper, it mentioned that on the 11th of the month there was going to be these fantastic mystery bags and as I tell you all the time, for me personally, because I purchase so much and especially a lot from Ipsy, the mystery bags for me are sometimes a hit and miss based on how much I actually purchase from Ipsy. The fact that I probably will not be getting any new items in there is always how I look at it. But if the bag catches my eye, I'm willing to take the gamble. And this time around, I think I did a good gamble. Now, the I ended up, which I normally don't buy both, but I ended up purchasing both simply because, like I said, the bag design was on paper, I thought was going to be spectacular and in person. It definitely still is. So what I do before I film is I unwrap and I get everything out to make sure that everything is okay. Now, I got a heads up from Ipsy that on one of the bags, I think it is just the glam bag, there's going to be a missing item because you're supposed to get five deluxe sample sizes and they sent an email down uh, before I got my parcel so I knew what to expect. It says, we're reaching out about the mystery bag that you recently purchased from the Ipsy shop. We discovered one of the mystery items is missing from your original order, but don't worry, we're shipping out an order for the missing item ASAP and you will get a separate tracking email once it's on its way. So I just want to make sure that if you got the glam bag, don't worry, you don't need to call in or reach out to customer service that you have something missing because they are on top of it if you've gotten the email that I just mentioned. If you did not get an email, then I do suggest if you only got four items in the one that is the smaller version, which we're going to go through first, then make sure to contact customer support. All right. So let's get started because I can barely contain myself on how cute these bags are. So this is the bag for the first mystery box. Now, uh, what I was when I placed my order, and I tell you this all the time, that it can possibly change what you're going to get in your mystery bag based on one thing. And when you open it up, my mystery bag said that there was going to be two products in here. That one was going to be from, where am I here? the Deluxe Mini, was supposed to be from Estate Cosmetics and Kate Somerville. So I think the item that I'm missing is from Estate Cosmetics based on this information. So when you go in and you see the brands, there's going to be two brands that they're going to list, then we probably are going to end up with the exact same bag. If that has changed because these bags are still available, then you're going to get the same bag, but not the items inside. So this one is the one that is called On the Bright Side Mystery Bag. This is a deluxe mini. These also went up by a couple of dollars. They're now $16, and they're saying the value of this bag is going to be $86. But normally in these bags, you only get deluxe sample sizes, but the brands that I pulled out are brands that I, I love and brands that I'm excited to have the opportunity to explore, as well as put in my giveaway area because some I have tried. So this is what the gorgeous bag looks like. It is a puffy, like almost like the puffy jackets, and it has a really nice bottom to it as well. The Ipsy name is only on the side here. It has a cute little hand here 
that is a little bit stretchy, but not too much. So it's not the type that you'd be able to wear as a wristlet, which is what I was hoping for, but definitely enough where you can put a couple of fingers through and hold it down. Then when you open it up, it is fully lined inside but like i said it feels like that puffy type of ski jacket which is really exciting for me so very happy about it love the color contrast with the yellow the blue and the pink i think they did a spectacular job on the bag and that is exactly what caught my eye so now let's go through what was inside my bag so the first item in here was from the brand that is called kapari and this one here is the sun shield soft glow daily face with an SPF 30. This is a brand that I share with you all the time that I love their body moisturizers. And I've had the opportunity to get some other products from this brand through other boxes. So I'm happy to see that we're gonna have the opportunity to get more out of this brand. And then this is the small tube that is inside here. Now remember, this bag is always deluxe sample sizes. The next one is from Kate Somerville. This is also a really fantastic high-end brand. This is gonna be the Retinol Vitamin C Moisturizer. And this is the information that is on the back panel here, how to use it. And then I'll try to get to the camera as much as I can, the information that is on the back of the packaging here. It says it's made in the USA. And then we'll see if we can get some of the ingredients on the screen as well. So that is the second item that we got in here. And inside that box was this item inside here. And when you open it, it has even a pump to it as well. This is a high-end luxury brand and it is one that I enjoy. And I love getting the opportunity to try a lot from this brand. And I've actually repurchased a lot from this brand. And I shared with you, if you're a longtime follower of mine, Kate Somerville is the brand that I got introduced to. It's got to be more than 20 years ago when I got invited to a spa when I was traveling through California uh, for business. And... I got invited to this spa and I could not believe the experience that I had and then how my skin looked afterwards. But then when you check out, they give you the opportunity to buy the brand, which I did, and it was very expensive. So the fact that we're able to not only try these brands through Ipsy, but also get them at a heavily reduced price in the shopper is just amazing. And how my experience started was with this brand, Exfolicate. And this one here is one that you just have to be really careful with. It is something that they tell you in the instructions to only leave it on for a couple of minutes because no more than two minutes. I even suggest this the first time using it to use it only for like one minute because her brand is really result driven and her products are very concentrated. So a little goes a long way with her brand and it is one, like I said, you'll see results, but you have to be very, very careful with it and literally keep it on for maybe one minute and you'll be able to see the results that you want. If you leave it on too long, you could end up, I did for myself, I can share with my experience, the first, first time I used it at home, I ended up leaving it on, I think even just, just over two minutes and I got a little bit of like a, a burn from it or a, not even a burn, like a, a skin irritation is probably the right way. The next item in here is from First Aid Beauty. This is one of their eye products. So this is also one that it says it's the eye duty. It is saying it has niacinamide and a brightening cream. I have this in the full size and I had the opportunity even through another box, I think it was through Trend Mood, when they introduced this product. So I'm happy that a lot of people are gonna have the opportunity to try this in their bag if they got it. If not, and you'll be able to try a lot of these products through the shopper or through our add-ons that are coming up on the first. The next one that I ended up purchasing for myself was the pear. So this one is the one that is going to be the full size and this bag also beyond. So this one here is the one that, again, the price went up by $2, so it's $32. They said the value of my bag should be around $151, and they say it, this one is called Spring It On Mystery Bag, and this one, it says uh, bring on spring with this colorful puffer mystery bag that's filled with five full-size beauty treats. Now, the two brands that were in my bag were going to be Dermalect was what they promised as well as Danessa Mirix. So when I saw those two names, I said, I think I will be scoring. So this one here is again, it's that same puffy, but this one has the colors all the way throughout. 
this is what the side looks like here. There's no outer pocket here. It just looks like it's sewn that way. The name for Ipsy is just on the side here. And again, it has a nice base to it where you see that it's a bigger bag. These feel fantastic. They're very lightweight. They're amazing to travel with. Again, it has the same pulley in here, but when you open it up, the color of the lining is the same as in the other bag that we just opened up. So again, very impressed with the bags. I find the structure of their bags, the creativity of their bags are always a home run for me. So I'm really excited when I get the opportunity through the mysteries to get these larger bags, because now with Ipsy, we only get the opportunity to get a bag with our glam bag as a bonus item. So starting with the first items that I got in here, Starting with the set and prep setting spray. This is from the brand that is called Sophia and Mabel. This is some of the information that is on the back of here. They're saying it is a hydrating coconut scented setting spray. They're saying it also should help set our makeup for up to 12 hours. Uh, but they're also saying it is a fine mist. So I took the opportunity to try this. You always shake it first. You hold it about six to eight inches away and then you spray it. And here are some of the ingredients that are on here. This is also a brand that says that it is cruelty free. And then it tells you here it's distributed in the USA, but it is also made in China. So when also I wanna share with you, if you are newer to sometimes with the boxes, sometimes you might see on the back of the packaging here where it says not for resale. They had to start putting that on packaging that was being sent over to be in subscription boxes because people were going to the actual department stores or the Sephora's or the Alta's and trying to get dollars back for returning a product they never bought from there. So if you see that, don't be scared or worried that you're getting something that you shouldn't be getting or anything like that. It truly is uh, because of that reason. This here comes with a spray. I did take the opportunity to spray it on my face. It has a beautiful, I'm hoping the camera picks up how fine the mist is. And it has the type, oh, it's just so beautiful. And then it has that beautiful coconut scent, but not overpowering at all. It really is a fine, fine mist and a really nice scent. The next one in here came in this little baggie here, and it was two type of sponge blenders. I don't wanna say beauty blenders because that is an actual brand name, but it's ones that has the sponges. So the brand that this is coming from is called Basic Beauty. And they're saying this is a flexible beauty sponges that help blend makeup flawlessly, especially in hard to reach areas. And there's two different designs in here also. It says it's cruelty free. And this is also made in China. Again, you're seeing the not for resale on the packaging there. And then you can also look up more. Their website is on there as well. So this is also one that I'm very excited about to have the opportunity to always try new sponges because I do enjoy a good sponge. The first one is definitely the style that we are all accustomed to by the Beauty Blender. It feels completely different. The way this foam is, it feels more like a, a finish that is just very, very smooth. Where the Beauty Blender, for me, it is a little bit more porous. So this is the type that uh, I don't have the opportunity to try that often because the ones that I like are a little bit more porous. But like I said, this is a very soft touch to it. It does have a cush to it. This, we always recommend that you wet it so that it expands a little bit and then squeeze out all the excess water from it. The other one design that they had in the same bag is this one. And that is what the design is here. It has a bit of a tip to it on the top and then round it at the bottom as well. And that is what it looks like here. So share in the comments, what's your favorite beauty blender style? Because I always feel like I like the one that has a little bit of a flat surface. So I can use that like the one from Ju uh, Junco, J-U-N-C-O is one of my favorites. It has a little bit of a microfiber to it. And it is one that I really enjoy. The next item that I got is one of the ones that they mentioned, which was from Dermalact. And if you ended up getting in the shopper, the kit that they have going on now for around $50 from this brand, this was one of the items that is in here. This is gonna end up uh, going either to a family member who likes these type of products, or if they already have one, because I've gotten a few of this type of style product, it's gonna end up in my giveaway box. However, this is a product that is supposed to help extend your lashes. And it is one that I know a lot of people enjoy. 
For me personally, I had a bad experience once with another brand early on when it was first being introduced to the marketplace and I have never had the opportunity to choose to try it again, but I know a lot of people swear by these type of products and this is a brand that I do trust because Dermalect, I had phenomenal results from a lot of their products. And this one is, like I mentioned, called the XL Volumizer. I'm not going to open this because, like I said, I don't want to start it moving. But what it looks like, it looks like a little pink brush on the inside. And what you do is you line your upper lashes with it. But like I said, definitely check ingredients. See if it's good for you. Always anything to me that's going close to the eye area like that. Just make sure when you read up on the brand that is ophthalmology tested and all of that as well. The next item in here I'm really excited about also, this is from Context Skin. This is, the now this on this packaging it just says Context. This is a dual lip pencil. I'm someone that always uses lip pencils. It, I always felt even early on, it was something that I always, that's how I learned how to use makeup and I always end up with a lip liner. I never really overdrew my lips because my lips were always the size that I was comfortable with. But this one, the two shades, the one is called Locked In and the other one is called Forever Free. But I know a lot of people use lip pencils to overline. I always like to use them simply to give me uh, that nothing's going to bleed outside of my lip line because I like to wear a lot of glosses and things like that. So one side has a lighter uh, cap to it and then the other one has a darker cap to it. We'll open this up and then this is what the pencil looks like inside. We'll do a little swatchy swatch so we can see what the color looks like and feel the consistency. It is a nice creamy but not overly creamy because sometimes lip pencils can either be too dry or too creamy. And this is what the other side looks like here. And we'll do another little swatch right underneath here. So you've got the perfect two shades. You've got that beautiful nude, and then you also have that pinky mauve color, which I think is fantastic. And dual and it just makes it so much more convenient that you can, especially with two shades like this, where you don't have to worry. And there you see on this side here, it says locked in. And then on the other side, it says forever free. So very excited about getting a lip pencil because like I said, I use those all the time. And then to find out what the Danessa Merix product is, is one that I don't own. And I know so many people said that they really, really enjoy this product. This is called the Dew Wet Balm. It's a highlighter face and body balm. This is something that I never would choose for myself, but it is something when I do get it in a box or I get it like in a mystery bag, it is definitely something that I will play with. So it, this is a lot of fun. And the shit that I got is in rose water. And then this is the information that is on the back of the panel here. It, it's hard sometimes for, but a lot of times I'm very proud of how I'm able to film this so that I can get as much information up because that's what this channel is all about. It's about the information. And then look how beautiful this packaging is. And then on the back here, it tells you that it is the Danessa Merix. It tells you that is the Duet Bomb. And it tells you also that it is rose water. And they also have some of the ingredients behind here as well. And then this is the beautiful product that is inside here. So it is the type that will leave just a hint of color, but this is also really beautiful in the summertime if you wanna put this on your collarbones, just to give that extra little sheen, I think it is absolutely fantastic. So that is everything that I got in my two mystery bags. I'm impressed, I am very happy. Like I said, I'm gonna be using majority of the items that are in here, so that makes it an absolute win for me. But the bags on their own, is what caught my eye and uh, like I said you never know but you know science pictures you know don't say a thousand words you in person you can get to feel it and touch it and that's what I'm able to share with you on the channel so I'm really happy to have had the opportunity to share these with you like I said the mini bag is now the price is uh, $16 and then the other item the other bag for the larger five full-size items is $32 so this one, there's also the handling fee of $1.99, but there's still no shipping, but you do pay tax within your area. And then the, the total to my door was $53. And it said that I had a savings of, uh, of $190, which to me is an absolute home run. So 
Please share if you also ended up picking up these mystery bags and if you got them also on the day of the launch. I got it a little bit later in that day because I was out at a meeting in the morning. So I only placed mine a little bit early, uh, later in the day. Normally I try to get in right when it launches, but I was a little bit later, but I was still able to get what I think was the first round of these bags. But like I said, if you're interested that you like the actual bag, then make sure to head over to the shopper and you'll be able to pick it up for yourself as well. And share with me in the comments if you go into the shopper to get it when you're watching this, what the brands are now within that area, I would love to know. And that's it for this video. So if you've watched this all the way to the end, simply leave in the comments, mystery bags puffer, and then I'll know that you watched it all the way to the end. And that's it. So take care, everybody. Continue to stay safe and well, and I'll see you all soon again in the next video. Bye for now.